Hello, this is Catherine ASMR and today I'm going to be talking to you about lots of different positive things that are in the world. Um, sometimes life is very difficult and it's very difficult to recognise anything positive um, but no matter what the cards are that life has dealt you, there is always something to be positive about or the potential to be positive about in the future. Um, I feel like I have the right to say this, I feel like my perspective um, in life, on life in general, is quite dark. I have a lot of inner joy though, um, but it's very important to me especially that I can hone back in on the really small things and just be grateful because theoretically we only have one life and if we don't grasp all of the positivity that we can from it, um, all of the positivity, all of the happiness, all of the meaning or impact that we can create from it as much as we're physically able to, um, then we're doing ourselves a disservice. Um, I'm not sure how relevant that rant actually was to this video, but I think it's more of a preface to get you in the mood to feel good and, you know, positive about these things that I'm going to say. Um, I'm just going to start off with three things I think are incredible about the world and then I'll start to rattle off just little parts about life that are enjoyable and that bring a smile to my face and many other people's faces. So I'll begin with the first thing which I think is incredible about life and that is plants. Um, I bought a watercolour drawing poster the other day. I don't actually have any plants And saying that makes me realise I need to get some because I'm trying to convince you of how amazing plants are. So Plants are incredible for a number of reasons. Um, the most obvious is that they provide the oxygen that we breathe. Um, the second one is that they remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, um, which is the gas responsible for global warming, or most of it anyway. And what's Plants have actually adapted in like the last, I think, a hundred years, maybe less than that, but with, um, with us, you know, producing more carbon emissions from fossil fuel fuels, like a huge amount more, plants have actually adapted to absorb even more carbon dioxide. So yeah, they're like these little beautiful angels taking care of us to be very happy about it. <laughs> but yeah, I like that because anyone can water a plant or go to a garden centre and buy a plant or buy several and if you take care of that plant you're also taking care of the planet and also just every other thing that lives on the planet. So yeah. The second thing I think is incredible about the world is the possibility for one person to make a huge impact. So whenever I think of this, I always think immediately of Rosa Parks um, propelling the civil rights movement forward by refusing to give up her seat on the bus and it's just a very simple, ordinary act of bravery that but I've got a lot more examples. So Sir Nicholas Winson, 
he had no background in what he went on to do, but he managed to save almost 700 children um, fleeing from Germany. He set up an organisation to get these kids to families um, outside of Germany and made sure they had shelter and housing. There's Elizabeth Seaman, um, her pen name was Nellie Bly. Nellie Bly was an investigative journalist who pretended to be insane so that she could get into an asylum and she stayed there for 10 days until her boss ordered her release and um, while she was there she documented um, how they were treating her, how they were treating other people and just the horrible stuff that was going on there and the article that she wrote um, kick-started reforms uh, for mental institutions and treatment of patients improved massively from that point. Um, it still had a long way to go until it got to where it is today, but she made a huge impact on a lot of people um, and just the institution of the way that it was run, so that was awesome. Another one is Alan Turing and his mathematical genius um, in ciphering German codes basically led to the war ending several years earlier it's predicted than it would have without him um, so he saved millions of lives just for being good at this well, incredible at this one very very specific skill The next person who's a little closer to home and who you will most likely know is Whispers Red ASMR and she has set up an animal charity out of pocket in Serbia and I've been to Serbia and most of the Balkans and if anywhere needs more rescue centres it's there because the stray dogs situation is very out of control um, Lots of them are very happy, like just wandering around the streets and stuff like that, very friendly but you find them really in all kinds of states because obviously they don't have anybody looking after them. So she has set up an entire animal charity pretty much by herself and yeah, it's being supported now by the ASMR community including me, I donate I think a couple of pounds every month, maybe five pounds. And finally, there's a woman I follow on Instagram called Brooke Eby um, and she is an advocate for ALS um, and is actually spreading awareness um, unlike the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge which I'm pretty sure 99% of people around me when that was going around um, had no idea what ALS actually was or even that it was a disease but yeah, I've followed her journey and she has raised a serious amount of money and just spread awareness all over, I mean obviously her country but obviously also the UK as I found her um, but yeah, I just think it's incredible what she's managed to do she has brought more knowledge and, you know, future treatments closer because she hasn't just given in and been quiet and, you know, lived her life in peace. Um, she decided to stand up and be loud and do everything that she could and because of that, you know, the future hope for the ALS community is a lot brighter. So yeah, she inspires me a lot as a person who has made a huge difference even though they're only one normal individual. Okay, the last big one and then we'll get on to sort of rattling them off and then I've got a few triggers in there as well related to what I'm going to talk about um, but the last big one is science and obviously all of these are quite specific to me I would love to hear down below in the comments um, the things that you're grateful for the things that you recognise are fantastic about the world um, and the things you need to remind yourself of Um, so anyway, the 
third big thing um, is science and I say this all the time and probably sound a bit mental but I do think that science is just the closest thing we have to magic um, and as someone who has two ones on a shelf up there um, <laughs> I really like magic um, STEM science, technology, engineering and maths is responsible for everything today that would make anyone in the 15th century think that we are a witch and burn us at the stake. So that's my reasoning. Um, but on a more serious note, I think it's amazing because science has, on a very basic level, um, improved medicine. So, you know, we're not having the black plague and having 50% of Europe being decimated by it because we have no idea of the cause, we have no medicine, treatment, vaccine, etc. All of those things have come such a long way in literally the past 100 years. Um, f whereas now, um, even treatments have been made for diseases in the past. 30, 40, even 20 and 10 years where there was no cure for them before. Obviously, HIV and AIDS is the big one that people think of, but it's been happening for so many and I just find it incredible. And then in the natural world, scientists in Singapore were able to turn plastic waste into electricity for power plants and electric cars. And there's been lots of different um, experiments over the last 10 years or so um, of scientists being able to break down plastic with different things and make them useful, which is great because the landfill situation um, is probably one of the things that I dislike most about the world and I know that this is meant to be a positive video, so we're going to move quickly on from that. And lastly, and I think there are lots, not lots, but several companies making different things out of fungus, so building materials and furniture, which I would love to get my hands on. Okay, so now I'm going to rattle off a few wonderful things about the world that most of you can either experience readily or you can have it to look forward to. Um, so to start, I'm gonna get some atmospheric triggers. Okay, so the first thing is that everyone listening to watching this video can either see and or hear um, the sound of The next thing that I'm very thankful for, and I think is an incredible thing about the world, is books. <laughs> and again, getting out the classic hardcover Pride and Prejudice. And this is because books provide access to stories and different worlds from literally anywhere, um, which I think is another kind of magic.
The next thing that I don't have a trigger for, but it needed to go in this list anyway, um, especially recently, it's been helping me a lot, is affection from animals. And I say this because, very luckily for me, there's about 10 different cats that live um, in the 100 square meters around my um, flat building, I guess you could call it, but if you looked at it you wouldn't think it was that necessarily. It looks a bit like a spaceship, um, but not in a fancy way. In a, It could be a spaceship, it could be a bin kind of way. Yeah, yeah. So the reason I say this is because I've had a couple recently that have just come up and been absolute saviours of my emotional and mental state recently. And there's this one, I think it's a ginger cat, and it's so funny, it's so strange, like they just, they're walking my way, came up for a stroke, and literally after one stroke they were like, good day mom, obviously not saying it, but, uh, and then just went on their way. Really kind of polite seeming cat, but just left after one stroke because they had places to be. The next one is love from a friend or a family member, or a partner, or if you're lucky, all three, um, and then gifts from a friend, or a family member, or a partner that you actually really like. And not just pretending to like. Because it kind of drives me mad when like an extended family member who I don't know well, anyway, um, gets me something because they don't know me. How on earth they gonna are they gonna get me something that I'm gonna use? Um, I would really rather not get anything because I mean it just all it's essentially rubbish if it isn't used, right? And then the final few are laughing. I think everyone can agree that that is one of the best parts about life and just provides instant relief even if it's just for a second and it's pulling you out of something else. Um, and the feeling of an eating an incredible meal after you've been really, really hungry. Um, and my trigger for this is And I know you're probably thinking, incredible meal, but I make incredible quinoa rice pudding. And I make it about four times a week. No, no, no. I make it twice a week, but it, the portion I make lasts until the next day, so I eat it four times a week. And the last thing is knowing you've made a difference and had a positive impact on a person or an animal or a plant. So I hope that gush of positivity wasn't too nauseating. I think I probably got more out of this than you did, but I find that I find it very difficult to hone back on the small things when I get somewhere quite dark internally and really the small things are 
the only things you can sometimes depend on um, when the bigger picture looks really, really bad. So it's important to just harness gratitude and just look for absolutely anything positive around you. And if there's nothing immediately there, look for it in the future or go out of your comfort zone to find it because, because it is worth the effort. And I think sometimes the little worry at the back of your head telling you that it's never going to get better. Um, or is it really worth all of this, you know, pain or whatever it is that you're going through? Um, just know that while you're breathing, there is possibility and when there's possibility, there is always the potential to experience something positive and that is pretty much always the case. Um, so yeah, I think that is the takeaway for both me and you. <laughs> you didn't really come here for that, but I'm saying it anyway. <laughs> okay, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you see all of the good things in the world that are available for you to see today or tomorrow or this week and this month and this year. Um, but yeah, I hope you're feeling good and if you're not, I am sending my love to you and I really hope that it gets better soon. Otherwise, if you're feeling fantastic, then that is awesome. Spread your positivity. Spread your positivity with other people, share the love around, spread it, be happy, go out into the world and give people flowers, water some plants, stroke some animals, 